what's popping sorry if i sound a little tired i just woke up like 40 or 50 minutes ago but uh i i don't know i was too excited to do this recording because you know seth roth yeah so if you could probably tell i was wrong but see what had happened was I thought Master Chief was gonna get announced because the new Xbox was getting announced. Now, Halo got pushed back to next fall, so that's probably why they're still holding on to him. Like, they, they ain't releasing him yet, they're saving him until then. And that's why Seth Roth was released. Because you, the, the, the Final Fantasy remakes are coming out, you know, it makes sense. Now, all, all of my previous picks still stand, you know, like Master Chief and uh, Crash Bandicoot and stuff like that. Like, like, look at this. Look at this photo. Tell me that does not hint at Crash Bandicoot. But he, there was something I did not consider, which is next year is the anniversary of Legends of Zelda sonic the hedgehog and pokemon now they're probably going to add stuff for those anniversaries well sam how come they didn't add it for the mario 35th anniversaries well the the mario 35th anniversary isn't over yet technically until march but i also feel like they're not going to add in another mario character or people are going to lose their minds bro they're going to be so angry there's so many mario characters i don't even know what else you can add in they got so bored with mario characters they added in a plant a literal plant but of course you know with the sonic 35th anniversary i'm still going with my pick dr robotnik slash eggman of course then we got pokemon which is still raichu i feel like raichu is still a solid pick i don't actually know a pokemon i'm just saying raichu because i think it would be funny but um for the zelda 35th anniversary now now that's that's the that's the one that's the one right there that that most people i feel like are considering because um there's just too many choices of a zelda character but if going off of recent games i feel like impa could be one from the hyrule warriors both of them uh that could be a cool move set but then also the champions uh you know i feel like the most all-around best character to add in would maybe be arbosa um, she would actually be a really solid character and not super OP, kind of like a, I guess, Link 2? Oh no. But then also Daruk could also be cool because it would be like a mix between Ganon and DDD. I mean, imagine that. And he like rolls around and stuff whenever he's moving and then it could be an attack and he damages you. It would be, it would actually be pretty cool if Daruk got in the game. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. Mifa would also be a solid round character. Um, yeah, could heal herself kind of like, um, kind of like Wii Fit Trainer can and like Robin or Wario can. And it would be also be cool if, if like, uh, in team battles, Mifa could heal her ally too, you know, uh, shake something up a little bit. And then Rivali, I don't want in the game. He's like the one champion I don't like. Um, all he would have are bow moves. I don't think he'd be super interesting as a character personally. Or they could just do a champion's ballot and all four of them are in the game. Now imagine that. That would be awesome. And one thing I forgot to mention in my last prediction video is Rex and Pyra. I've just been really torn on these characters because I didn't know if they would be added in at all or not because like Sakurai said, Oh yeah, we were planning to add him in originally, but ran out of time. He said the perks of the DLC are I get to add in the characters I originally wanted to, which he's done with Byleth and Min Min, which makes me think that Rex will get in. But also Rex is a me costume, which seems to be the only thing to deconfirm characters, so I'm just unsure about that. Also, thoughts on uh, Seth Roth? I did not predict him because I thought Square Enix was not be adding in another character, to be quite honest with you. I have no problem with Seth Roth being in the game because I feel like he looks really, really cool and too OP, which I don't mind sometimes if they're fun to play as. Which also deconfirms Gino and Sora, which I'm happy about. I don't understand why people keep saying Gino for the game. I find it quite dumb. 
why would you want this man in the game? He's only appeared once, uh, Super Mario RPG, and that not a lot of people know about that game, so why would you include it? But I guess you could say the same thing about King of Fighters, but King of Fighters had like multiple games where Mario RPG did not. And Sora was deconfirmed a long time ago, and I still don't know why people keep saying Sora because Sakurai straight up said that Disney said no. Are you kidding me? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. But since Sethroth was the first third party villain to get in, I started thinking about other third party villains to get in. Of course, Eggman again. You no, know, maybe even the flower from Cuphead, you know. Also, I will leave you with this. Has anybody considered Batman or Spider-Man. Think about it now. There's been tons of games about Superman and Batman, and a lot of them are successful that have came out recently, like the Arkham series or the recent PlayStation 5 series. Now, Sony is pretty stingy, so I don't know about Spider-Man, but Warner Brothers in DC, they're a little bit more generous, so I feel like Batman has a legitimate shot. Uh, let me know. This could be biased, but let me know uh, if, I, if you agree with these or not. I'll see you next time.